my god! No way! Oh. oh my god, if Timmy's here, it's real! Yep, you know what time it is. It is Life is Strange. Yes. First of all, if you guys haven't seen episode one, stop this video, stop what you're doing, go back and watch episode one because it was it was a lot going on so far. And I, I don't want you guys to miss it. Um, Real quick, before we get started, check out the shirt. I don't know if y'all can see that. Wow. Check out the shirt. Check out the shirt. This is from a good friend of mine that I purchased it's her merch. Her name is Kayla Lash. If you guys want to check out her merch, make sure... I'm going to leave a link in the description for this video so that you can check it out. And also make sure you check out her YouTube channel because she's dope. Um, so, back to Life is Strange. So, yeah, if you haven't gotten to it, episode one, stop the video, go back and get started. How are you guys? I am excited for this episode. I'm, I am excited because I left off this on, what did it say, December the 19th. So, we're just gonna get right into this, and yeah. If you guys are excited for episode two, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you, uh, yeah, make sure you hit the like button. All right, let's do this. Continue, please. All right. Life the is previous strange. episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Called film Whoa. little pieces what of the time. But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth, that's an order. I didn't black out, I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. So choose wisely. Wow. All right. If you guys didn't realize, it is late when I'm filming, as I'm filming this right now. Oh, snooze. Yeah, it's pretty late, so. I want to pretend to have some energy tonight. Because I know you guys like that. The time machine. Get up. All right, Max, it is time to get up. You got a beautiful day waiting ahead of you. You gotta save some lives. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. All right, so what's the first thing we need when we need a shower? We need a towel, we got a towel, DVDs. And I guess we're just going in. All right, we got some messages. Solid, it's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. You there, hippie. What about that snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smart booty. And I need your help. Like when you told Step Dork it was your weed? 
But for reals, we need to talk. Or, or Eden, Soul, it's good to have minions. Got a bail master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. <laughs> Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late. Or I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. On my way. You are evil 40 minutes or else. Okay. So, first things we should do. We have to take a shower and we have to go see Chloe. Oh, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Maxine. Uh, can't wait till it's... No, no, that's, that was last month. Okay, your principal sent me something. Something. I'm not going to forget. Okay, Even we're good. with all this crazy going on, it is so cool having... I better not leave without my shower supplies. That's smart. Um, pretty sure something's in here. It'll be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. There's the card game. Max, where's your towel at? Where's your stuff? Um. Oh, shower supplies. Ah, uh, duh. How do I pick up the shower supplies? There we go. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Let's do it. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. All right. I'm not going to bother her right now. What I want to do is find the shower. Where is the shower? Nope. I do not want to go back in time. I do not want to go back in time. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. That wasn't me. Dude, where the heck did that come from? One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Oh, somebody threw it from the bathroom. Hey, what the heck? Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Yep. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Of course. What else is a superhero for? We'll have consequences. I hope good consequences. Uh, this is the girls' bathroom, but probably not the shower. Showers, let's go. Hey, Kate, what's going on? I forgot your name. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Hey, no problem. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. For sure. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Add it to my agenda. I already forgot what we're supposed to bring her. What are we supposed to bring her again? After my shower, I'll bring her book back and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Oh, right, right, Maybe right, just right. talking with a friend will help her feel better. Yeah, because something is going on. Kate is going through something and she's not talking to anyone about it, but we'll have to figure that out. Okay. No peeking. Y'all need to take a shower too. What's up, Kate? I don't School. want none of your BS today. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Clubbing? Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. 
<laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. What's that on your face? Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good sh**. Preach it, sister. Bro, y'all are losers. Yeah, I still have paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. Dang. She gonna talk to her we just like that right in front of her? We rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Ain't nothing wrong with that? Well, actually, I don't even like them because they're already pretty weird. Thing one and thing two. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Excuse me? I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil b I love it. Wait, wait till it's your turn. <laughs> I thought you, I thought we were cool with, with um, Victoria last episode. Why is she acting so weird now? Oh, she two face. All right, Max. Let's see what we gotta do. We gotta go to the room now. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Poster, so. Tampon dispenser. Yo, there's tampon dispensers in the girls' bathroom? Hey, what? Ladies, is this a thing? Do y'all really have tampon dispensers in your showers? In your dorms? Or wherever we are? I, d I did not even know that. I did not know that. Hold to another universe. Not important. Sink. Yes, we need to brush our teeth. We're not dirty. Sorry. I forgot. Who's in here? Peekaboo! Who's in here? Okay, so we're gonna have to work. We're just trying to brush our teeth this morning. That's fine, that's fine. Um. So let's go to our room, pick up the book, go to Kate's room. Alright, that's Brooks. That is not mine, Victoria. That is not mine. There we go. Max. Okay, where's that book? Where is that book? Let's check this. And nothing here. Oh, there it is. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to our list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Okay. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. All right. Uh, what is this? Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Okay, we got the book. What is with everybody in this game and not cleaning the room? Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Butterfly fight. I need to get dressed before I go there. Okay. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Okay. Victoria's room. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. All right. Oh, she plays violin. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see what. Let's look Kate at this. Kate is all alone dealing with this video. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. This is from her mom four days ago. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after classes this evening so we can discuss this matter. We'll pray for you and expect for you to. To pray for your forgiveness. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Okay, wow. That sucks. Okay. Kate used to play the violin every morning. 
She stopped last week. Hmm. So she's being cyber bullied. Not cyber bullied. She's it's real life, but it's online. There's a rabbit. It's H.R. Geiger period. Whoa. Dude, this girl needs some help. Uh, her parents must be really strict and re really religious. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Hmm. Dude, this is about to be really sad. I can I can already get a s I get a sense for these things, and I feel like it's about to be a sad um moment um hey kate i brought your book max why did you step in between david and me yesterday i hate bullies i had no choice <sighs> i had no choice i hate bullies i had no choice i had no choice david madsen is an asshole you had the choice to not get involved nobody here seems to care about anybody kate <sighs> i actually do care so, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with him? What about the video? Why? Did you party with them? What about the video? Let's not talk about the video right now. I feel like it's kind of insensitive. Did you party with him? Let's ask why. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. Mm. And I have no memory of it. Whoa, it's Nathan. That sounds like Nathan's doing. Why would you go? It doesn't sound like you. That's awful. Oh, it doesn't sound like you. Why would you go? That doesn't sound like you. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Mm-hmm. Not enough to get wasted, are you sure? Yeah, not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Mm -hmm. Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Yep. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Oh my gosh. It's Nathan. I told you. Did you go? How sick were you? Nathan Prescott. Did you go? Did you go? Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So... Who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious sh How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. If only she can go back in time with the powers. I don't know if I said that right. If only she can go back in time that far back with the powers to, to prevent that, then that would be awesome. But unfortunately, I don't think we're able to do that. Jesus, so. this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. Yeah, I don't think she lied about that. Bag. I put in her book. Book bag. So, Max, 
Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Sure! Absolutely, Kate. Anything. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. That's reasonable. Should I go to the police? Oh, look for proof. Go to the police. But the police... Hmm. Let's look for proof first. I hope this doesn't bite me in the if butt you later. Do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. My thoughts That's exactly. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things that's not what I said. might help you. But not Kate, right that's now. not what I said. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Ooh. Okay, you know what? That's obviously the answer that she did not want to hear, but luckily we have Good job, Dr. Max. We have this she power to do this. To say, but we need more proof of what happened. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right. So, Max, can I ask you a question? No. And please be honest. No. Absolutely. You don't want my anything. honesty. You want to hear one answer. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Well, you're not really giving me much of a choice, so... Yeah. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. <laughs> Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless Bro. you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. That's true. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich earned some serious bad karma he'll get it yes yeah, facts oh i hope this doesn't bite us in the butt later dang kate must be tough having to juggle Time this school out, max you actually told kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat now the police will definitely drag you into this is that bad? What Jesus, test? this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. Kate really has a doting father. Okay. All right, we gotta go to see um, Chloe now. So Chloe said she's in the diner at uh, 40 minutes. Uh, where is the diner? Ooh, message. Max, food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Okay, let's go. Alright. Um... Leave the dorm, yeah. Leave the dormitories. We head to the diner. Hey, it's our boy in the bottom right. I forgot everybody's name. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while since I've played this. It's been a minute. Hey, good morning, Samuel. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm. I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can 
hear them whisper. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. I know. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Whoa. Be excited about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Oh, Samuel's a little. He's got a little emotional side. That's good. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Of course you will. What does that mean? Let's see. Dormitories, main building. All right, I guess we gotta Max, go this way. It's hey, over here. Warren, Warren, what's up? Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Dang. I'm waiting for a call. I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You put By your life on the line for me. Thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh yes, you do. I got knocked on my. Ass by that I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Chloe. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star, which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. Don't get involved. Hmm. Don't get involved. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird f***ing week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's do that. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. All right. It's a date. Woo! Get the bus. No, we got to go to the diner. What am I doing? Don't oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, um, we don't have any other choice. We got to go this way. Okay. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Who's Rachel? Brad. Who's Rachel? Brad. Rachel? Okay, we'll have to go back to episode one and remember that. I don't know, I forgot what Rachel was. To the diner. I don't know where we're supposed to see Chloe. How are you guys doing, by the way? This is—I feel like this is a good time for us to talk. You guys doing all right? You guys good? Cool. Still don't know if I should mute this audio or if I should keep the song in there. Definitely get copyright for that.
Where are we at? Looks like a gas station. Hmm. Diner. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Who's this? Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. Yeah, y'all literally just saw me get off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> yeah. So this is Chloe's mom. The smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me feel 13 again. Trevor, what are these guys? What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Getting my coffee on. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Trevor, what's going on? Is this Trevor? Hey, Trevor. Yeah. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, Dana's room. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, yeah. and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Yeah, see you in class. All right, food counter. Drool, want everything. Everything besides the chocolate stuff. We don't like chocolate. Um... Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. Okay. Miss Joyce, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Silence and solitude. Booth, sit. Okay, so by this is um, Chloe's mom, you guys. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? I'm How doing nice good. It's How are nice you? to see you again. You look the same. Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm Why don't I'm you sorry. just tell the truth? It wasn't you. Oh, it surprised me. Fierce. But then they'll get Chloe in trouble. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Mm. Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. 
wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. So that's her dad. Her dad passed away. Chloe has changed. Chloe understands. Uh, Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was us. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Even though You're I didn't do it? friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Don't seem like it. Does not seem like it. He cares about Kate Marsh. Uh... I'm curious to know what's going to happen if I say that, but I also don't know how it's going to affect our relationship with Choice. Let's see? He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but mm. I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Hmm. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about, and she's not even in school anymore. So... Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Um, I'm feeling like some Belgian waffles. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Now finish your coffee. Okay, let's look at the menu. One Belgian waffle. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Home style eggs and bacon, five dollars. Apple sausage, almost six dollars. Yo! This breakfast is actually not that bad in prices. Okay. Well, I, I am used to eating stuff like IHOP and Denny's, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Hello, hungry girl. Pronto. Let's drink some coffee. One Belgian waffle at twelve o'clock high. I love the delicious. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Okay. Uh, graffiti? You're graffiti. Warren must have been here. This is a diner, not a bar. Oh, we can look out the window? Yeah, let's look out the window. The they said something so about a guy mysterious. in a trailer? I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. I can hear your but then it wouldn't be a moment. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, Speak of the devil. Hey, what's up? What's up, Chloe? Mom and Max, together again. Yes, sir. And Chloe looking for a free meal. Put your whole college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Dang! Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one slice of bacon a day. Man, Chloe rude. You guys are still the same. Joyce is I'm nice. I don't know why he's. Town. I don't know why she's acting like that. I like Joyce what so far. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy. Tornado. Come on, that's it's a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. What you want me to do? This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. 
Let me see. What the heck? <laughs> She's making it seem like I can hold her hand okay, and then Max. take her with me or Impress something. Impress me. Uh. Um. What is in your pocket? Let's see if we can get lucky before we're uh, anything. Uh, chewing gum. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I bet it's keys. Nope. Wait. That oh, was keys. beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. All right, we got a bear key, um, cigarettes, quarters and pennies, and a traffic traffic ticket. Okay, cool. Parking ticket. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. I don't know why you're so worried about impressing her. Whether or not she believes us does not make a difference. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Cigarettes, keys, yeah. All of these are in our pocket. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? I don't know. <laughs> um, seven? Seven? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. You know, Something else lucky. in my pockets? Uh, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. I have a panda on it. Panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as f How much do I have? Why? Uh, it's definitely not 25 cents. It's more than 25. Let's say 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Let parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Bro, I don't know. 10. 10.34 a.m. Booyah. Max can tell time. Bro. I literally guess all three of those correctly. I guess all of those correctly. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Yeah. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Me too. Clearly. I can go for some IHOP right now. That's it. Well, it's actually too hot. Too I'm morning. freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. She waved. Oops. Drop Did coffee. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Man, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a d Slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Bro, he what? started it. I'm finishing it. There's too much going on. Hold on. What happened that made the police officer go take off like that? She dropped the coffee. Trevor. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Okay, let's go back. All right, speak. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is Joyce drops her plate. Yeah. Joyce drops her plate and the truckers make fun of her. So what happens next? I hope this isn't in order because I don't remember. And his partner leaves and he eats a donut, alert a cop's radio and he leaves and he answers. 
Yeah. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. I hope. I don't remember. Uh, Trevor, uh, Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. Uh, and Joyce stops them. Uh, and Joyce encourages them. Wait, what? I guess. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Oh, you do chill. <laughs> as a tr uh, trucker plays a new song. Yeah. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. It might not be in the same order. I know for sure she's going to drop that coffee. She's going to wave and she's going to drop the coffee. Oops. Yep. That is Did so wrong. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I got to take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I f don't not, slap Max. All right, go back. My bad. <laughs> I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. Okay. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. So the trucker does drop his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Yes. So what happens next? And then we got the partner leaving. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. And then we got Joyce is going to stop the fight Justin between and Trevor. Trevor. Are fighting yeah. And Joyce breaks it up. Right. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And last but not least, we got the cockroach crawling the on the jukebox. jukebox. Goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oh, we got it. We got it right because we got the cutscene. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? No, Mom. no refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. Okay. You're a d slap me. D take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. And a cockroach. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best <laughs> toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and what? boom! It's like it never happened! What? Grow up. That's... Maybe this is exactly why I said we shouldn't know. tell Chloe about this. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's f insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, I don't have time. Check oh. out your nose. Whoa. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. No! You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. You see my nose Show is me bleeding. Show to Chloe's cave. He didn't even finish a dang, man. Can I at least take, can I get a to-go box? Where's my food? Uh, I, man, that was so wasteful. I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. Okay, my Supergirl, let's go to my secret head. place. Your Don't even answer. We have winter. places to go and pull to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more sh let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some sh you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Yo, you need to chill. I need to answer this. You don't need me as bad as Kate needs me right now. Hey Kate, what's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise Kate, I won't forget. I swear, just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. Bro, Chloe, you I'm need to chill. With you, okay? That was like For five now. seconds. Let's rock. Bro, Chloe got a tapping issues, dude. I called it. Chloe has a tapping issues. I'm calling it. it. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. When? Just now? 
Did I miss something? Oh, that's the that's the guy from the from the RV that they were mentioning earlier. Okay. Okay. Um This is the junkyard. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Uh, Chloe, you're scaring me. Did you not see my nose bleeding just a little while ago? David might be a douche, but Chlo he did steal his gun. Bruh. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? That's Only what I'm the saying. ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Bro, something bad is about to happen. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. Hmm. Bottles, not cans. Bottle, there we go. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Every car has its own tale and history. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Football. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Okay, let's move it. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Okay. Bottle one. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. So let's move this. All right, and then we're going to take a bottle using this crate. Okay. Only three bottles left. Two. Okay, three, three, three. Mm. Oh, warm. Uh, hit me up anytime if you have any other questions. What did he say? Uh, Warren, 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 what's up? What's up, Max? Uh, this is from today. No, this is from today. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. We're going eight. We're, we are so going eight. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around five. 60 miles, dang. Heck yeah, we, uh, heck yeah, we will enter a new ride. Uh, we had to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first or whatever. Anyway, go eight. Too late. Uh, smiley face. I think that Warren has a little crush on me. If they're not dating already, I don't know. It's not really, uh, it's wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Uh, let's take a look at that. That dough is the perfect photo op. Why does it look fake? Yeah, like I was saying, I think Warren has a little crush on uh, Max. I don't know if it's ex I don't know if they're exclusive. I don't know if they're dating. I don't know what's going on. I just think I'm using my my intuition. Uh, like, where's the other bottle at? It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. 
like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Hmm. That's an interesting concept. thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Oh, he's had in a car accident. Wow, okay. That's how he died. I thought it was something else. Bottle. Like, I don't know why I didn't see this earlier. Three down, two more to go. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Mm. Looks fun. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. Oh! And this flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Rachel is the girl that vanished. I am so dumb. Okay, that's that's who Rachel is. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Bottle. One more bottle to go. Okay. Um... Kate. Uh, what did, what did she say? Max, I want to thank you for giving me so much advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I so appreciate you standing by me. Keeps my faith. Loves and kisses. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. And thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I needed a friend. You were there as usual. Man, Kate, you should know. I'm your friend. You ain't gotta worry about that. Okay, private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for you. I know where you sleep. <laughs> that must be Nathan. Yo, okay. I think that's Nathan. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Is that, is that a bottle right there? No. Photos. Um... Hurts. Oh, it's Chloe and Rachel. Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. Mm. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. Okay, so I think this is from Rachel to Chloe because there's a C at the top. You could tell how much I want you to read this letter since I've been dragging myself to give it to you. Maybe I just want you to find it when I'm not around so we never have to talk about it. And I don't want you to hate me. Where, where to start? I met somebody recently who's so different from the lame Vortex Club snobs. I know you'll have a meltdown when I tell you and think he's gross, but I swear he's wise and unconventional. Kind of scary. Not in a bad boy way. He's just experienced some crazy stuff. Yes, I'm kind of obsessed. I won't blame you for freaking. Maybe I know you're right and this just has to be my secret. I hate not sharing this with you except I know you'd give me that stink eye and grow me for every stupid de uh, detail. If I even told you that last night we hooked up near campus... Is that it? Oh, okay. Okay. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Oh. So Rachel has something going on. And she went missing. Now I'm starting to wonder if she's actually missing or she wanted to be lost. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Alright, so now we gotta head back. Um... Yeah, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Can I, can I cross down here? Oh, 
Alright, we got the bottle. Okay, we got all five bottles, then we gotta report back to uh, Chloe. Thanks, Max. No problem. Oh! Why are you drinking from it? Ew. I found that. Wait, one more for the road. Yo, Chloe, I'm you nasty. serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. What you want me to do? I can't be your eyes. Show me oh, the wait, way, Max. I, I'm literally supposed to help you aim. I need to see you shoot first. I'm literally. Oh my god, that scared me. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Nice there you shot! Go. Did you see that sh Max? Duh. That was so f cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. <laughs> a little bit higher. Nope, a little bit higher. Up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Nice okay. shot! Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. All right. Give me uh, something to shoot, Max. Let's do the blue plank. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. You should, should let's try the, the let's rim. Take out this wheel rim on your left. This might be dangerous. Taking out the wheel rim now. What? Bro, we go. Yes! You gonna mess around and get nice shot on your tech. freaking shoulder. Now that's what I'm talking about. That was legitness. Yes. Satisfied? <sighs> like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target uh, before I shoot. How about aiming for tire? the left tire? I don't know. Adios, spinning wheel of death. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, I thought I was gonna crush her. Uber cool. Uh, yeah. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Her nose. Max, your nose. She's using it too much. I don't feel so super. Max! I tried to tell her. I tried to tell her. Man, I tried to tell her. I tried to tell her. Max. It had to have some kind of toll on her, because it seems like, where's the energy coming from, you know? So she's probably sapping a lot of her energy, trying to go back in time like that. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but... Fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. Yeah. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I hope she doesn't make me just use this too much. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? No, I'm gonna die. Oh, boo hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. Cute? We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a sh load, don't you, Chloe? 
Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? Oh. What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the f are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that sh Whoa. Give it to me right now, You better step back before Whoa. you play, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you Bro. Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Whoa. Why would I shoot him? He's not a <sighs> I can't do this. If I don't okay, I can go back in time. It's just a knife. I have a gun. I'm not gonna shoot. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. No thanks. What? Have a good play, kids. Was that a threat? Wait, can I go back? I can just shut up. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step will have his other guns sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Should I have shot him? Sorry, Would you have preferred Chloe, if I shot him? I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. Yeah. Thank you. And there are more yeah. guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't f with us again. He just wants his money. And he took your bracelet. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. I'm kind of curious to know what would have happened if I shot him, though. Wow, sir. Sh Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Should I have shot him? I can still go back in time. Nah, nah. I think that was the right thing to do. Where did Chloe go? Where the, hey, where did she go? Oh. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid sh I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Would you want me to shoot him? I only I could now have only shot me him. To protect you. I only could I'm just glad you were here. Me too. The options are shoot or don't I shoot. Think. That's it. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Hmm. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. 
I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's mm. it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Be careful. My brain is fine. Uh, let's just be careful. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Rachel and I? Why? Yeah, why? Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smart ass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Yeah. Foreshadow. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Whoa. What the? Come on, Chloe. What happened? Oh What's my gosh. The train. Oh. All right, we gotta back up. Pull her, pull her. I don't want to die here. Find something. Why are you walking? Oh, we can use these. I can use one of these, right? Can I use one of these planks? What can I use? Oh, switch the lever, switch the lever. Yeah, yeah. I can't even move it an inch. Fuse box. Awesome, it's not locked. Yeah. Mmm. I better find the tool to cut those wires. Something to cut wires. Something. Uh, wire cutter. Uh, uh, bro, stop yelling at me. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Back up, back up. Wait, are these wire cutters right here? Yeah. Crowbar? Definitely use this bad boy. Oh! Oh gosh. Come on, come on. What do I... Bro, there is nothing I can use. Go all the way back, all the way back. Ah, oh, I got a crowbar. Open the door. I can't budget at all. Crowbar. Score. Go all the way back. Are you serious? Let's go. Woo! I hear that train. I hear that train. Come 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying! Hold on, hold on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. And cut the cut the freaking cut, cut it. Which wire to cut? Oh my gosh, red. I don't know. The train's coming! Now that's the right cable. Got lucky. Max, get me out of here! Should I switch the lever too? Yes! Yeah. You did it. Woo! You okay? You no. saved me again. No, I'm not I okay. See. Now we're totally bonded for life. That was close. Ugh. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? No. It was cool to spend Chloe, time I'm done with you. there, but I'm done with you, Chloe. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Bro, no, we not. Nah, you about to get run over by train. Hold on, camera. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting boring. ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain, explain what? what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What you, do you know? What do you know about you chaos know? theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, ass Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero Chloe, who I needs can't a side <laughs> How can it be such a <laughs> week and you're oh. the best of my life? Because we're back in action. Again. Chloe, you stress me out. How did you even get your foot stuck in the... What do y'all think would have happened if I just let her? Just let her say though. Do you think the train would have stopped or... What do you think would happen? Because clearly the train didn't stop when I was... Doing my, what I was doing. <sighs> Into the Vortex Club. October. This is a little bit right after my birthday, too. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. All right. Let's talk to... These elite throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Hello, climate change. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Why do people assume that I don't care about anything besides myself? I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? And what's that? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Bro, I do not like her. It's me. Shut I don't like you, Courtney. Trevor I don't surveys like you. his domain. Excuse David. me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, no it, it was not my a reefer. Of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of a. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Aww. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. 
You treat Kate bad. What about Kate? What about Kate? Yeah. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Whoa. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. Yeah. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. He knows something. He knows something. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Like me. Not so you can't help me? Crap. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Kate, what's wrong? Kate, what Kate. What do you want from me? Oh, Kate. I just want to talk. Kate, Please, leave I just want to talk. Alone. And what did he hold on? Let's talk to Mr. Jefferson Jefferson and see what's going on. Um, I've just this camera bro. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Uh, David Madsen. I stepped in between David yeah. Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have... Proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Yeah, everybody, everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, yeah. I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells what said you had Rachel? something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Nope. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Okay. Should I, can we trust Mr. Jefferson, do y'all think? If to Make me beautiful, Hayden. Talk Vogue. about the Nathan Vogue. thing? Or no? Vogue. No time to talk, Dana. Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying f Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a sh Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Bruno, Doc can hear you. I'm right in front of you. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws! I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> Man. Oh, 
he's still got that scratch on his face. Okay, I was about to ask, what happened to a scratch from earlier? Hmm. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Yeah. yeah this is so wrong and weird. He knows something. I'm telling you, I, I guarantee y'all, he knows something. Hold on. Can I get up? I have to stay here. Oh, Warren. What up, Look, Max? Warren. Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. In the end, mm. we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few... I guess Kate will miss class now. In the contest. Like I'm Michael. worried about her. Who I know I can't wait too. to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in months. Yo! Some crazy s*** is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remains seated. Oh my gosh, I hate this. this. All this drama. Well, I, I could not make I could not make it in the school. Is this for real? Looked out. I didn't think she was that. What's going on? Whoa! No. Oh God. She can't die. She can't. Go back. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh my gosh. What do I do? There's nothing. There has to be something that we can use to catch her. How is nobody helping her? How? Well, just watching her. Keep going, Max. You can do Yo. it. Yo. something inside yeah go to the rooftop yeah yes Kate bro Not now. It won't work. 
I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. We I'm know. right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Things will get better. You matter, not just to me. <sighs> what should I say? Things will get better. You matter, not just to me. Things will get better. Things will get better. What should I... This is very really sensitive. Like, what should I say? Things will get better. Things will get better. You matter, not just to me. You matter. You matter. You, you matter. matter. And not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. I'm here for you. I'm going to say you're my friend. Because that way she feels more of a... She feels more attachment to me. And then that way she won't hurt herself. So I'm going to say of that. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I don't like any of these answers right now because right now she could still potentially jump. Nathan is involved. You are drugged. <sighs> okay, I care let's about pick one. You, you are drugged. I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. Only. Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong. Everybody will forget. Nope, I can't say everybody will forget. There are billions of videos. Be strong. Oh, be strong or there are billions of videos. The billion, hearing that there are billions of videos, I don't know if that necessarily will help her. Be strong. Everybody will forget. Be strong. Be strong. But I feel like she's been being strong. There are billions of videos. Everybody will forget. There are billions of videos. Be strong. Hey, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Yes. Forever. Yes. Can we hug on it? Can you come down no. first? Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Okay, hold on. Let's bring the camera. Okay. Your mother, your father. If I remember correctly, she was pretty close to her father. Kate, I saw father. that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? 
You saved me from talking in class. Yo. Now I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? To help her. Or anything at all? Please, oh. tell us everything. Nathan Dost. Oh my god, I can't. Woo. David bullied her. Jefferson made her cry. Bro, oh my gosh, this is where it come, the truth comes out. Jefferson made her, Mr. Jefferson made her cry. David bullied her. Nathan dosed her. If I say something about Nathan, Nathan has something against me. He knows where I live. Mr. David, uh, David, uh, Chloe's stepdad. I don't know what he can do. Jefferson made her cry. Oh my gosh, and I like Mr. Jefferson too. I can't I can't get Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Bro, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say it. Um it's either Mr. it's either Nathan or David. Oh <sighs> Bro, this is stressful. We're gonna have to say Nathan did it, man. I, I don't know what else to do. All I, I know, know is that do. Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has what nothing are you doing? to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this Bro. accusation is true. Therefore, Max, and the thing about it is, I'm he's not even helping to either. Your parents and suspend you for Why is days. David on Excuse Nathan's me. side? I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. Oh, for All right, Miss Caulfield, please oh, sign really? here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but. I think I can use my power again. <sighs> but do I want to? Mr. Jefferson is cool. I don't know why David was defending Nathan. They have nothing. I. <sighs> Where's the sign it? Who's gonna sign it? Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. 
I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. There's something else going on with David and Kate that we don't know about. But I think I made the good decision. I think I made the good decision. I'm happy that I Kate's okay. Well, it was better happening. than she was. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out. She reached out. Hugs. Tears. Applause. Like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. <laughs> Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm That's working facts. to prove that Kate Marsh yep. is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. possibility. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up head. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? I wish I could tell you. The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Joyce and David are making up. This must be Chloe. Oh, this is oh, it's Mr. Jefferson. What's going on? What is it? What's going on over here? I really hope that Mr. Jefferson doesn't do something that makes me lose trust in him. I really hope he does not. I like him. I like him right now. Are these two dating? What is going on? What is... Nathan and Victoria, there's something going on. And something with Mr. David. David, Mr. Watson, I think his name is. This is Chloe. Sorry about Kate. Hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. Woof. What a 
an episode. What an episode. I feel like I just ran a, a marathon, but my body's not sore. Well, kind of sore. <sighs> Alright, you guys. This was a very different video. This one... I'm gonna have to... Do something differently with this video, because I know this is a very sensitive... Um, another... This is a very sensitive um, subject. And it's, excuse me, this episode is just a lot very different, so I might have to do something different with this one. Anyway, I hope that you're having a great week. I hope that you're having a great weekend, whatever day I decide to post this. I don't know, I, I haven't edited it yet, obviously. But, um, yeah, I hope your week is going amazing. I hope your day is going amazing. It is currently 3.50 in the morning. It's time for me to get some sleep. I have to take, I have to take a shower and, um, yeah, get some sleep. But I hope that you enjoyed this episode regardless, and yeah, episode 3 is next, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and with that being said, that is it for this video, until next time.